I'm going to be begin by asking, your characters are so well versed in alchemy and the kind of Philosopher's Stone, and I was wondering if you guys knew much about it beforehand or if you were doing much research to get into the, the heads of we the We wrote world. the script. <laughs> we knew a lot about it. <laughs> no, I, I knew absolutely. Not absolutely nothing, but, you know, the basics and some of the sort of characters, historical characters that people attribute um, knowledge of alchemy to. But, um, no, it's always a fun thing to, to learn about something completely different that you have no need for in your normal, you know, everyday life. You come out with a bit of trivia at a dinner party. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, we're watching this back are you guys able to to feel the kind of suspenseful nature of it and get sort of involved as an audience member would or are you guys almost too close to it and do you kind of see it more as the shoot rather than the, the finished product you know what for me i noticed i noticed the t the tension and the suspense more than or i cared about them and they 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 registered with me more than the big scary surprises the the big violent moments or the you know the 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 scares uh because I knew those were coming, and I was there, and I saw how they worked, and it wasn't as scary. But the, but the, I think what this movie is really good at is is suspense. It's not gratuitous in the scares. It's more about oh my god, what's gonna something's gonna happen at some point? Where, what's around that corner? And that was really palpable for me. I really really felt that when I was watching. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No. I, I, that's that's a very good way of putting it. Um, it was. I've only seen it once. I'm desperate to see it again because you are obviously always going. Ooh. Why did my hair look like my that? My face is so enormous. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, we didn't have any, you know, the way that they've used sound and it's really clever. There's no music um, to speak of, although you kind of feel like there has been. But, um, so yeah, that was really cool. And the jump cuts, and it's been very, very cleverly put together. And it felt incredibly short. Was that just me? It felt like it was like 20 minutes. Yeah. It just keeps, it's, it rolls along at, 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 at quite a pace. Of course, the fact it's sort of shot sort of all on location, I mean, it must have evoked real sort of claustrophobia and kind of trepidation about, about the whole sort of setting. Uh, was there any scenes where the fear that we see on camera is sort of quite genuine or, was, or were you always quite in control of, of everything in that regard? I think when you, if, if you're not committing as an actor uh, to, a, to such a degree that you're not feeling the emotion, whether it be scared or any other kind of emotion, then you're not really doing your job. So when the camera's rolling, yeah, I think we were pretty freaked out or sad or horrified or whatever it was. But um, for the most part, it wasn't that scary. I think we've been talking about watching other performances, other actors, when they have their big scary moments, that's the creepiest and the scariest mm, thing. Because it does seem real, you know, like when it's just watching someone else really go through something difficult and it's always tough, you know, as a human, you kind of, self-reference and... And how close are you to your characters in, in a sense of would you actually have the kind of the guts to, to sort of follow this in particular if, if you have... <laughs> yeah, are you as much of a daredevil in real life in other words? Um, no, <laughs> I'm not. But I'd like to, I'd like to think I'm, you know, I'm close-ish close, close -ish to the character. Um, I think of Scarlett as like a really awesome, ballsy version of myself. Um, and um, but. I fortunately, my, I'm very close <clears> to my <throat> character because my character had no interest in going down into these uh, catacombs and that's just about exactly where I would stand in real life. Because <laughs> course, we see uh, Scarlett covered in blood, or well, there's one scene where she's got of swimming in it. What was that in real life? Was that, it looked like Ribena or something, but I'm assuming it wasn't. It was thick blood, raspberry syrup. Mm. Mm. It's quite nice, actually. It wasn't. <laughs> it dried and became this kind of sticky super glue kind of consistency that was stuck in my hair. And I once took two and a half hours to get my hair unmatted. Two and a half hours on the last day of shooting, actually, it was. And I would stick to things, and things would stick to me. Um, and and it, I also had to be covered in one point at KY Jelly to stop me from um, going pink because it would dye the skin. It must have smelled nice. Though. I was also covered in lube. She smelled oh. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just wondering as well, I, I mean, given, uh, well, in sense, well uh, sorry, Ben, uh, 400 days is what you're making next. I what think, I, right? Well, or you've made it's already. the last thing I shot. Last thing you yeah. shot. I was just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about that and what we can expect. I don't know what I'm actually allowed to talk about. I, we literally just, just wrapped that recently, so it's... I mean, you know, we're astronauts, it's bizarre, it's also claustrophobic, um, and it sort of treads the line between what is, what is real and what is a psychological breakdown, which I think is very similar to what this movie does. Yeah. And my, my final question for Dita, I was just wondering, because this is quite a departure for you from your career so far, I was wondering if, if it was a kind of conscious decision to take on a role that would mix things up a little bit and maybe, you know, change the pace somewhat. <laughs> Absolutely, it was exciting to, when, I, when I won the role to think, 
this is completely different to anything I've ever done. And I and I and I've always wanted to play a kind of Lara Crofty. It was, this is the closest I was ever going to get to Lara Croft, basically, because um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I just thought that's such a kick-ass role. And um, and obviously, I spent a lot of time in period dramas with corsets on and stuff. So this is much more. <clears throat> this is closer to obviously myself, but you know, both are fun. It's always good to do something completely different. And um, um, so yeah, so it, it does make people probably more think about me in a slightly different way. Hopefully. Yeah. That's always a good thing. Always a good thing. In a bloodier way. In a bloodier way, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much. It. Thank, thank you. you.